Hello, 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 and welcome to this episode of uh, Sim Games TO. And I'm Sim Games TO, and this will be our first episode of our new city of Newfoundland. Uh, it, our build of Goose Bay in Newfoundland, and we will be starting uh, to build the city uh, in this episode. Uh, we will be using the winter map, and uh, let me just take a look here and see how this map goes. Um, Goose Bay, um, as I said, is in Newfoundland, uh, Canada, a small city of about 8,000, 9,000 people. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by opening up the squares that we're going to use over here uh, purchase and purchase and purchase okay and there we go and we're going to remove this railroad here uh, we will not be needing that to be passing through we'll also remove part of this highway and replace it with a road that will just run through the city so let's get started on that. Um, here we go. Uh, one by one. gone good okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this highway because what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this into a road which is the main road that runs through Goose Bay just as such <clears throat> okay there we go, and uh, we are going to then set down the road, uh, let's take a look here what we're going to use, bike path road, okay so let's take a look at how this goes, um, take a look at Google Maps here, see which way this goes, so we have the main road that comes in this way, turns a little bit, okay, um, alright, so comes like this to there. Well, let me just take a second look here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Turn. So it comes up to about here. Then it takes a bit of a turn. Let's put the turn in. And over here as such and then we're gonna go straight and there's another big turn at the end here which we're gonna turn back into the highway <clears throat> so that we can restore the connections that we just destroyed because we do need vehicles to be able to get in and out of the city so there's a sharp turn there that goes in and out of the highway okay so let's get two lane road and uh, two straight there and there perfect okay and let's connect this into the city like this oops okay all right so that is done there as such um, so let's extend this road that goes out along the lake shore um, make this road here uh, I'm gonna use curb uh, curb yeah there we go and we'll curve the road as it goes in real life right to the end there okay perfect <clears throat> uh, connect the highway let's not forget to do that um, we'll use straight line 
There we go. And there we go. Perfect. Okay. Um, yeah, so we've got the vehicles going through. That's going to be a pretty busy road with a lot of traffic. So we're going to keep that in mind as we're building. But that road is going to be highly traveled. But on the upper hand, uh, it's not going to be a large city, so we don't have to worry too much about traffic management. Uh, yeah, well, well, that's a lot of vehicles going through that are just passing through our city. Um, okay, so let's take a look at what's, what's going to come first here. I'm going to need to set up an industrial area. I think that I am going to put that um, inside here next to the highway. That's industrial area. I think I'm going to put inside here and a residential area here. <coughs> so let me start with the residential area. Um, Kelland Drive. Kelland Drive, which is going to come all the way up. Okay, see, I see which way this is going. So Kelland Drive. That'll just be a regular road. We'll use bike path. Uh, how far out should I take this? Um, it's almost about halfway. Okay, so it's, it starts about over here. I think this is a good place to start it. Yeah, like that. And there'll be Kelland Drive. Um, then there's a curve. Let's put the curve in. Nope. Curves. Is that too much or enough? Or uh, Yeah, it comes down a little bit, so pretty realistic. Yeah. There we go. Just like that. Nice. Okay. So then let's get the residential zone inside here. Um, there is a Bennett Drive and then a McDonald Drive. Okay. So let's put those in. Bennett Drive, and then there is a McDonald Drive with a loop. At the end of it. Okay. So we're going to call this um, Kelland Drive. Kelland Drive, there is such, and let's do the rest of this neighborhood here quickly. Uh, Valley View Drive, which comes, okay, so let me put, um, let's just see which way this goes here. So Kelland Drive, and then, okay, Edmunds Crescent. Um, let's put in Edmunds Crescent. Ed, Edmunds Crescent, Edmunds Crescent, okay, well that's odd, isn't it, isn't it strange to have lightning during uh, a snowfall, kind of interesting, but, well, it is what it is, okay, um, Valley View Drive, which comes all the way up almost to Edmunds Crescent, okay, so we're going to put the, that in. We're going to go ahead and put that in over here. Now let you drive to Edmonds. And does it come all the way back down? Almost. It goes over here like this. And then... Uh, okay, yes. Okay. So... Valley View Drive. <laughs> Valley View Drive. Okay. And 
what other roads come over here? Um, we won't be able to fit those in. Okay, so St. Lawrence Street. Uh, St. Lawrence Street. Is that what it's called? Let me double check here to make sure I've got the spelling correctly. So, yeah, that's how it is named and called, okay? And let me just extend it to here as it is in real life. And Birch Street, Valley View Drive. Okay, so that is going to be called Mealy Mountain Road. Mealy Mountain Road, okay? And then let's go ahead and put in some of these as residential zoned. Um, okay. Yes. Put in these residential zoning. <clears throat> light residential, because there's only going to be light residential in the city. There we go. Okay. And I will start putting city services in right away because we will be needing those. Oh, actually, I need um, water and I'm going to need electricity. So let me go ahead and put that in right now. So Electricity, we're going to put in the Tesla plant. Uh, right over here is going to be okay. No noise, no pollution, don't got to worry about that. Okay, so let's put this here and let's put a sewage in. And let's go back to the pipes, connect them, and then we're okay. Oops. Good, and let's take off the, let's put on the policy where we only use uh, only electricity for heat. And that'll take care of that problem. Okay. Very nice. So over here, we are going to have Loring Drive, which is going to be, which is going to lead us into our industrial zone. Uh, let me just see how much way this goes. Loring Drive. There we go. And it's going to turn a little bit. So let's put in turn. Use that instead. Okay, then we'll go turn. And then we're going to go straight. Straight a little bit. Oh no, that's going to be another curve. So let's curve it again. Okay, and let's use the straight line. Okay, so it kind of comes perpendicularly. Okay, so it comes like this, and then it turns again. It goes up north, and then we go up to about there. Okay, then there is a highway connection as well, thank God. Um, B Street. That is actually what it is called. So let's put in B Street. And then it curves. And then there is a highway connection, which is something I really, really want to have here. Um, 
you know what that's not straight that's I want it to go straight into the highway so let me just redo that okay there we go okay and up we go and then we're gonna go up perfect Back down, <clears throat> and then we will make highway access here. So, there we go. Perfect. Okay. <coughs> so, commercial and industrial is in uh, demand. Uh, let's go ahead and appease this. So, let's put in some light commercial along the main road. Uh, let me just unzone that there. Okay. Put that in there as such. Okay, that's good. All right. Um, then I'm going to use Marquee 2 for because I don't want to. That's going to be used as residential road, I believe. Okay, good. So the next is going to be industrial, but the industrial is going to go inside here. So let's set up. Um, okay, let's see how this goes exactly. Oh, there's an area inside. Oh, perfect. Okay. Let me just check the uh, resources to see what kind of resources. Okay, so there's oil here, so we could put an oil area there later. I'm going to put generic industrial inside here. I think that that will be very good. <clears throat> okay. Um, <clears throat> so let me just go ahead and do this. Um, Pease Street. Um, okay. <clears throat> Street, yeah. Yeah, just like that. Uh, as in real world, good. <clears throat> okay. So now let's get some industrial zoning. There we go. Perfect. Good. Okay. So we'll let that build a little bit. Um, I think I will zone this too right now. Why not? Um, okay, that's good. So let's put in some city services. I think uh, I'm going to start with a. Um, I think I will start with. Uh, we're going to put in all three. So I'm going to start with the police station. I think I'm going to put city services all inside here. I like this area for city services. Uh, we'll put in. Um, Goose Bay. R oh Goose Bay RCMP detachment RCMP detachment okay and then let's set up the vehicle so that they are only RCMP vehicles for that I'm going to use the um, advanced vehicle options mod um, allow this to, okay so we've already got the RCMP and okay perfect <clears throat> it's already by default set to that oh let's remove these traffic lights junctions uh, remove the traffic lights so that traffic can flow and there we go perfect okay any traffic lights here no okay good all right so uh, moving on let's get some fire service in here um, two fire trucks should be sufficient uh, goose bay fire okay and let's get EMS as well um, goose bay EMS Let's see if I need to manage these vehicles. Um, EMA, uh, healthcare. So we've got all of these. Okay, we're not going to use that one is off. Okay, that one is off. Um, 
I think we'll just use this one. Um, I think we're going to allow this vehicle to spawn. No, allow this. No. Uh, allow this. No. <clears throat> I think I'm going to stick to mainly one type of ambulance for the city. Um, there we go. Remove. Don't allow it to spawn. Well, it may allow a second type. Okay. <clears throat> I think that's good enough. Okay. So there we go. All right. Um, any other city services? Death care, I'm going to put that in now. We have a crematorium we could put in. Let's put in a crematorium. I'll put it over here. And we'll call it uh, Goose Bay Crematorium. Goose Bay Crematorium. Okay. <clears throat> And I also want snow plants because we do, since we are doing the winter map, we now have a special feature um, of this map, uh, which is that snow falls and then lands on the road. That's what those snowflakes indicate, which means that the snow, the, the roads are snow covered. So what we need to do is put in a snow dump, uh, in our case, a super snow dump. Um, let me see where I could fit it in. Th this does produce noise, so I do have to be conscious of that. You see the radius of noise. How bad is it if I put it over here? Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so it's out of the range of any residential <clears throat> area. Okay, good. So uh, we will call this the Goose Bay Snow Dump. Okay, good. We've got them coming up. Fantastic. Okay. So that'll clear up the snow covered roads for us. <coughs> so now we just have to wait for residential demand to accrue. Uh, let's see if there is an elementary school that could be placed inside here somewhere uh, in this district uh, school. Hmm. Not inside here hmm. Peacock Primary School Mountain Collegiate um, there appears to be only a couple of schools and they seem to be in the area to the east of here so I might have to contend without education for a short period of time until I get to this area because that's where the schools are we have merely Mealy Mountain Collegiate, which is just off to the side there. But our population is only 418, so it's not the biggest problem. Um, let's see if we could put in, let's see if there's a park that would run through here. I believe there may be. Um, bike trail, there is a bike trail that runs through. Okay, so maybe I will put in that bike trail though. Um, there's a bike trail that runs through to here. Okay, which actually makes sense. That's going to be a nice addition. Um, so let me go ahead and let me mark this as a park. Medium build. Okay, so let's put this as a park. And what I'm going to do is just have it come to there. Okay. So, um, oh, that's district. Oh, oops. Okay, not district. Park. No, no real park. Okay. And let me just run this through. To there. Okay, nice. And let's set up the bike path. Actually, before I do that, let me just name it first. Um, it does have a name. It is called Bike Trail. <laughs> Can't make this stuff up. Um, bike Trail. Bike Trail. That is what it is called as such. Okay. <clears throat> so let's get uh, a path here. And... Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong one. Um, there we go, city park. There we go. Put a nicer bike trail there. Okay, let me use the Kirby tool for this. 
Why does it not want to let me build? Okay. There we go. Okay. And then, oh, I need an ent oh, I need an actual entrance, a main entrance. Okay, so let me <clears throat> I completely forgot about that. So remove that for a moment. Let's also remove this for a moment. Let's put in uh, a main entrance, which will go here, and then let's put in a side gate, which will come here. Space already occupied. Well, okay, so then I will put it over there if the space is already occupied. Um, there we go. Hit such. And let's put this in here. <clears throat> then we'll make this. Actually, I'm going to put an entrance over here too because it just makes sense. So let me, let me get side entrance here if I could fit it in. Is that side entrance? It's not letting me really put it in here anywhere. Okay. okay. Here it will allow me, so let me put it in. Okay, good. And let's <clears throat> go to there like that. Okay, good. So let's put in some facilities to make it a little more attractive. The least we can do. There we go. Okay. And chessboard, we put that in there. Uh, playground, we could put that over here. We'll put one playground here. We'll put another playground <coughs> down over here on this side as well. There we go. Trampoline park, we could put that there. Okay. Put some gazebos along the way as well. Nice touch to it. And that's going to be just so that we can level up the park a little bit faster that way. Okay. So where are we? 872. Let's change the policies to celebrate night tours. And... There we go. We are now at population of 670. The city is making money 720 a week which is okay that's fair <clears throat> um two people have visited the park four people have already visited the park fantastic okay <clears throat> um i think we're going to leave that for an oil district like an oil uh, oil industry there is an airport that comes into here. There is the Goose Bay International Airport, which we're going to leave room for. Then there's this district that comes down this way. Um, there are basically two districts, one in the north, one in the south, or the east and the west, depending on how you look at it, uh, which we're going to save room for. Uh, how is the commercial development? It's not bad. Let me just marquee this really quick. Oh, marquee that really quickly as light commercial. I don't think that we're going to put any office space in here. There's no university in the city, so there aren't going to be any highly educated Sims. So this is actually just going to be a low educated um, to um, well educated uh, city with low density everything. Low density commercial, low density residential. Um, and so I, I'm not planning on putting in any kind of office zoning because that requires mainly high highly educated sims and in this city we're not going to be having any of those because there's going to be no university and that we already know and it's not going to be a large city either it's only going to be perhaps a population of between eight and nine thousand which is what i'm going for um let me see so let's take a look here um so our rci demands for residential commercial and industrial are still pretty low and that's because everything is still developing, but uh, as they develop, we're going to see those metrics change, and I'm assuming residential is going to increase in demand 
again next so garbage is piling up so that is basically that is the game talking to us telling us uh, that we need to put an incinerator plant in to collect garbage um, so let me go ahead and do that And I'm using a lot of special assets that are either uh, quote-unquote cheats where they're um, not necessarily what they're not costing what they should be um, in some cases like the crematorium it's it's not costing any money but it's got a lot of vehicles so I just decided to use that instead of worrying about how much money I'm spending it just makes it a little bit easier um, and yes it is a bit of cheating um, I, I will admit um, the incinerator as well I mean normally the normal incinerator comes with how many trucks um, 27 trucks 1440 well we have 2700 trucks 2700 vehicles so yeah it's a bit of a cheat but it kind of helps me out um, it, it kind of lets me build focus on building the city more than focusing on how to make make everything profitable all the time so it's just less of a distraction um let's find the place for this i thought i did find was there not a place i could put this in there was oh there we go yeah so along here it will allow me to put it in okay so let's put it in there and we'll call this the uh goose bay uh incinerator okay all right so that is there. Okay. Oh, there's a fire in the industrial. You know what? I might put a fire station in here as well. So let's rename this. That's the RCMP detachment. Um, Goose Bay Fire Station. Goose Bay Fire Station. Um... Let me get the name of this road. Um, what is the name of this road? Hamilton River Road. So we'll call this the Hamilton Hamilton River Fire. Hamil, Hamilton uh, River Fire. Oh. Okay. And then let's let's name some roads here while we're at this. Uh, so let's see. Hamilton River. Was it road? Yeah, Hamilton River Road. There we go. And yeah, that's right. Okay, good. Um, and then let's name these as well. Roberts Street. That will become Loring Drive. Uh, Loring Drive. And then this will become... Um, boy. Um, Pease Street. Street as such. There we go. Okay, then this will become uh, B Street. B Street, that is what it's called. Just like that. Okay. And flooding. There's flooding going on. Where is there flooding going on? Is it already gone? Yeah, it's already gone. Huh. <laughs> that was odd. Um, uh, if there is flooding going on, we will certainly have to deal with that. Um, so actually, I'm going to put a fire station inside here because we do want one in the industrial area as well. So let me get. Uh, let me go to fire services. Uh, and let's put in a small fire station over here. So this will be called the Loring Drive Fire. Loring Drive Fire. Okay. Hmm. So many people are using the park. <laughs> Quite a few. Quite a few, surprisingly. I say surprisingly because we have such a low population and uh, not really many places to go on there. Um, you know what else I will do? 
is I think that what I will do is put in a second access, um, an access to there, um, to that road as well, side gate. There we go. And let's put that in there. Beautiful. Good. <clears throat> That'll encourage more bike bike traffic, bike bike usage, walking from place to place in the city. So I think that's going to be really good. Um, so residential demand has come up again. Um, yeah, that looks like it's going to be a pretty busy road. Um, but that's how it is in real life. We don't have too many highways going through here. It's just really busy because we have so many trucks just going through the road. What is this here? Oh, okay. Thought it was a police car. No, it's not. A little bit hard to tell in the winter map a little bit. Everything is just white. But it's kind of nice. It has a really nice effect to it. It's nice to play it once in a while. Um, just for some change. Okay, so residential is up. Um, so residential, let me use the fill. Oh, no, not light residential, yeah. Let's put these in here. Okay. There, so that'll come up a bit. Um, I think that'll be good for now. Maybe I'll just put a few more around here. Okay. Good. That looks uh, like a good start to the city. But next we are going to have to make this uh, next district here where we can add schools in. To the city so it can continue to develop. We at least need primary schools and secondary schools and uh, Goose Bay does have a primary school and a secondary school so we will be able to add those in um, let's see land value really quickly um, yeah so there's land value so not over here so maybe I'll put in something for entertainment over here um, Let me just check the map here. There's nothing in real life. There's really nothing there. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put in a park here. Um, this is what? Castle Playground Entertainment 300. Well, we have to put that in. Um, put it in here like this. Good. That'll increase the... Um, it'll increase the... Profitability, well, profitability eventually. It's going to increase land value. It's going to increase entertainment, which is going to increase land value, which is then going to allow these residential um, buildings to level up, and then they're going to pay more taxes eventually. So it will eventually. So it's going to come full circle, and it makes it more attractive for people to move in. Then I am going to need something here too, except over here. Well, no, not yet. Those are all really light blue. That's because of the park. So I think we're okay there for the moment. No need to just spend money for no reason. Oh, we've got a fire there going still. We have always always have to put in fire stations close to the... Then there goes the fire truck right there. So, Loring Drive Fire. Ready to wear Limited, which must be here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Ready to wear Limited. Yeah, so you always have to put in the fire stations close to industrial zones because that's where that's the most flammable areas. And then they could be more sparsely distributed along commercial and uh, residential zones. Okay. Hmm. Not a lot of traffic building up, but it's kind of not realistic because there's no way that this city is producing this level of traffic. It, it's, it's it's very unrealistic um, and kind of unfair because um, this, this is all traffic going through the city. They're just trying to get through the city to the other side of the highway. So, I mean, I, I'm not going to actually spend too much time trying to fix that because it's kind of, it's kind of unfair um, because... Um, 
the city just doesn't have that kind. It would be unrealistic to put in extra roads and just put roads all over the place just to distribute that traffic. I could put a connection between here and here just to have people circumvent the city. I might end up doing that just to make it a little bit more realistic. Um, I can do that. Um, I probably should. Just make a connection so that people can get in and out of the city a little bit easier. Um, let me look at the real world map here and see what it says. Well, yeah, there's definitely no such thing in real life. Um, so, yeah. But we'll do it right away because we just don't have the money. Maybe I'll do it later or should I do it now? Um, and just alleviate this traffic because it is kind of a mess. I mean, if traffic gets really bad, it will be an issue. Um, it's not particularly easy to deal with but I might make a relief road that goes um, that people can use um, would have to take out these two square I would have to t open up these two squares to do it though um, you know what let me go ahead and do it um, because it does look like the traffic does warrant it. Um, let me just take these squares off as well because I'm going to use that for building. Okay, so good. Now I've got that opened up. And of course, I am obviously using the 81 tile mod, so I can just open up whatever tiles I want on the map, etc., um, which is convenient. Um, okay, here we go. Let's remove the, let's get the train track out of the way. Now, I do want to do something kind of nice-ish over here. I don't want it to be uh, a total eyesore, but I think that I'm going to find that a bit challenging. Um, yeah, okay. So, how big is this? I'm going to use... Uh, a juncture here so that is going to be rather large um, which I may not even need um, let me let me try to put in a highway look just uh, just a two just to save money just a smaller highway um, Okay, let me do that. And let me use this. And let's go up. There we go. Okay. Now let's go to there. Good. We'll take it out of the city and around. Um, okay. That'll be just like a relief road. Let's bring it to here. I said this is unrealistic, but then again, the game is not really cooperating with me. So, I mean, in all fairness. Um, okay, let's bring this around and then up. There we go, just like that. That'll be a big help for alleviating traffic. And let's see what that does for us. I think this is going to turn out to be one of the better ideas to do this there we go um, there we go and that is gonna probably kill us financially but we don't have much choice oh oopsies a bit of a mess a bit of a screw up okay we'll fix that quickly here. There we go. 
And let's use move it. To put this into place over here. I would imagine that vehicles are going to start using this path. Let's watch and see. Yep, they are. Yep, so we've got... Yeah, there we go. So they're starting to come off the highway, go across there, and then not go through the city, which is what we want. I mean, it's just by design of the game, because in real life, there's no way that, that there's that many vehicles traveling through on this highway. Uh, but in the game, it's making it so that there's so many vehicles trying to go through the city and go through the highway. And so we just have to make this unreal holistic connection to alleviate that. Otherwise, we're going to be stuck with a real traffic nightmare for no real good reason. Okay. Hmm. They're not turning on to here yet. Not seeing them come this way. Using the westbound, I only see them using the eastbound. Somewhat. But I really do want to see these vehicles going off on the highway. Okay, so the city is developing well. So, okay, so it's time for a short break. Uh, That'll conclude the first segment of um, our Goose Bay City build, uh, episode one, starting the city. And we're off to a good start, it appears. And uh, I'll be back in about 10, 15 minutes, and we will continue episode uh, two, and we will make the first district of the city. And thank you for watching and being here.